Hey you guys, time for another product review. A hair oil by As I Am. So you guys, I can count on one hand how many times I've actually purchased a hair oil that a company has made only because I tend to like to make my own hair oil mixture. I just find that it's best for me to just make my own. And those of you who don't know, I used to actually make and sell my own hair oil called Sassy Girl, what was it called? Sassy Girl, Girl Southern, something like that, hair oil, but it was a great hair oil mixture. Um, I would get some good reviews, but unfortunately I didn't have a lot of people purchasing it, purchasing their oil unless it was um, uh, beauty supply owners, you know, that was it. So I had to stop making that product like a couple of years ago. I kept some of the ingredients, child, but anyway, y'all, it is what it is. So, um, this particular hair oil is by As I Am. It is the olive and tea tree dandruff oil treatment. So, y'all, a couple of months ago, um, not even a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, the temperature here in, in Texas dropped, or specifically in Dallas, it dropped. It got cooler, then it got up. Y'all know if you from Dallas, you know how it is here. It goes up and down. But when it went down <laughs> that fast, my scalp was like, whoa, hold on. And it was very itchy. It was itchy here in my crown, on the sides. And me personally, I rarely have any issues with scalp, um, even though I don't wash my hair that often. Now I'm washing my hair every two weeks, but previously I was only washing my hair monthly. I don't work out, <laughs> I'm chubby and lovely. So I don't have any issues with, with um, my scalp because I don't even use a lot of products on my hair. So I don't get any buildup, okay? I don't sweat. So no buildup or anything like that. But with the weather and all of that, my scalp was on fire and I wanted to avoid at that time washing my hair. So I just looked out and figured out, okay, what can I use on my scalp? That's when I came across this product that I actually ordered online at amazon.com. And so this again is made with olive and tea tree oil and then it has some specific acid in it Sally, girl, salicic, salicic acid, I think it's called. So let's just go ahead and get into some of the benefits and what it says. It says for hair types three and four, um, this is about four ounces. So this specifically has 1.8% of salicic acid, but it also has olive, it's olive oil base. And the tea tree, of course, is the carrier oil. The carrier oil is your olive oil and the extensual oil is your tea tree oil. So how to use it? For the relief of scalp itching, flaking, and irritation associated with dandruff and dermatitis. For external use only. They said that they could put it on here, but they did. Um, so I like that it has a little applicator. So let's get into the consistency and I'll let you guys know if it smells a certain way. Girl, it's not even open. Yeah, I promise you. All right. So the consistency. It is not as thick as um, olive oil. It has the consistency of almond oil or grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, if you're familiar with those. It does have a light tea tree oil smell, but it's not overwhelming, okay? If I were to guess, they pro oh hold on girl not a lot so my recommendation whenever you're trying a product like this to test it out on your hand or your skin first before you apply it to your scalp just to see if you have any type of reaction okay so the way i use this you guys i literally did it a few times here the areas that it was itching at back here I didn't, you know, I didn't go in and massage it. You could do that if you want to, but I find that I didn't need to do that, okay? So I just, again, there, and that is it. I use this particular oil um, about two to three times a day um, for less than a week. Like, if I remember correctly, yeah, two to three times a day. I do know that much. And I used it no more than four times. And when I tell you my scalp stopped itching and the weather is still getting cooler here in Texas, but I was pleasantly surprised by this product and I will highly recommend it, you guys, uh, for those of you who are, you know, suffering for some itchy scalp or maybe you should just wash your hair like me. Um, <laughs> but at that time, I felt like my scalp was dry. Um, and those of you who don't know, I... 
I'm not that good about moisturizing my hair, but I am pretty good about using my hair oil mixture or, you know, applying the oil. But, but I found that this particular hair oil mixture has some great benefits. Now, again, this is for dry, itchy scalp. This is not to help you grow your hair. We're not going to get into the stuff with the meal. I have a separate video on that, um, on that ordeal, but I feel a certain type of way about products that are supposed to grow your hair. I know I'm getting way off subject, but let me just say this. I feel a certain type of way about products that are supposedly used to grow your hair because in my opinion, it's your overall regimen and how you are taking care of your hair as opposed to one single product. Yeah, there are some some things that will grow your hair, but if your, your hair regimen is not consistent, if you're not washing your hair properly, if you're not detangling your hair, your hair properly, Yes, it's, it's really going to be counterproductive if you're going to spend money on a product that supposedly is going to give you some inches, girl, some bundles. So just make sure you have a healthy hair regimen, including your scalp. I think your scalp treatment, in my opinion, besides um, ensuring that your hair moisturized, I think that scalp treatment is up there. I really do, because that right there is the foundation. In my opinion, it's the foundation, because that's where your hair is growing from, right? So I say all that to say, if you are having any issues with your scalp, please check out this product, you guys. I will be listing everything below in the description box. That is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care, bye. But I also like to add beads to my hair. So wooden beads have been my go-to for the past two or three months.